In previous session, we have seen the application of Virial equation of state. And we also have seen that how various expressions of Virial equation of state can be used to find the value of Z and then correspondingly the value of V, that is volume. So, here is the problem which talks about isopropanol vapor at 200, at 200 degrees Celsius. We are supposed to find V and Z for these vapors at 10 bar and 200 degrees Celsius. In the data statement, they have provided us with the value of V and C. However, V and C values in general we need to find from the literature or we need to calculate using you know uh, certain generalized rules. Now, the first part portion here is calculation using ideal gas equation of state. So, what you just need to do is V is equal to RT by P and you get the value of V and Z is 1 for an ideal gas. So, we know that Z would be 1 in part 1. Now, equation of Z containing pressure term. So, that Z is equal to 1 plus V dash P plus C dash P square. So, since V is given, C is given, we also know the re relation between V and V dash, C and C dash. So, we can calculate V dash, we can calculate C dash and substitute that in the equation for this, right. We know the value of P and we get the value of Z. Once we get the value of Z, Z can be equated to PV by RT and you can get the value of V by ZRT on P. This is for part B. And for part C, where Z is given as 1 plus B upon V plus C upon V square. Now, this is the equation where you have on both the sides unknown terms. That is, you don't know Z, you also don't know V. So, convert Z into PV is equal to RT. Simplify this equation in form of V, which will be cubic equation in V. Solve that equation using newton raphson method or Talendarian method, right, with initial gas, starting gas as an ideal gas value, right. And you converge that for V. Once you get the value of V, you can calculate the value of Z by substituting it to in the equation Z is equal to PV by RT. So, this is something which is already done here. So, you just get V. And you get this, right? Correct. So, this they have taken only single term. So, single term is okay. You can solve it by simplifying. And this is the part C where you just have to convert Z. This is this is what I explained you here. The PV is equal to RT equal to 1 plus B by V C upon V square. You can convert it into V equal to RT by P. 1 plus B upon V plus C upon V square. So, this becomes direct substitution method. So, you initial your V0 is your ideal gas. So, that will give you V1. Then V1 substitute here, you get V2. Likewise, you keep on doing it till Vn minus Vn plus 1 is less than or equal to some error. This error term you need to define. This error term has naturally unit involved in it. So, you do not need to go to always 0 0.001 accuracy, it has to be clubbed with the unit which we are working with, right. So, this is the, you know, solution pattern, right. And next we move to cubic equation of state, which are very important equation of state as far as PVT behavior is concerned. The reason cubic equation of states are very important for us to understand is because they are the equation, they are the set of equations which are able to represent entire PV diagram. See, when we found out beta and kappa, beta and kappa, the equation which we developed for beta and kappa were applicable to different regions. Like if it is a liquid regions, you have to apply it for liquid or a gas or maybe mixture. But mixture, maybe beta and kappa may not be able to be applied because the values of beta and kappa would be different. Virial equation of state which we developed was only applicable for gaseous state because it was applied only or the equation uh, was generated only based on the behavior in the vapor phase. It was the cubic equation of state which first was able to apply the entire or predict the entire PV diagram. 
So these are the like polynomial equations that are cubic in volume, right, and are suitable for many purposes, right. So they are the simplest of the equations, and they are capable, as discussed, of representing both liquid and vapor behavior. They are called cubic because they are, you know, cubic in nature. That is why they are called as cubic equation of state. Now, see, it was Van der Waals in 1870s who first proposed the cubic equation of state. Now, the basic theory behind cubic equation of state which he proposed was this. The principle he, which he proposed is that the pressure term is combination of two terms, Pr and Pa, where Pr is repulsive term and pressure and A is attractive term or attractive pressure. So, when there is a cylinder, and within the cylinder there are molecules. So, this molecule tend to attract each other. So, if they attract each other, they will be moving away from the walls, right, and hence the pressure will reduce on the walls. If these two repel each other, so they will move, you know, away from each other and they will go and bang on the wall. So, they will increase the pressure. So, the pressure term, this is positive in nature. An attractive term here, pressure attractive term here is negative in nature. So, this is the basic philosophy which Van der Waals came up with. Van der Waals also, you know, uh, could see or could, you know, show rather that, you know, uh, the collision theory which was proposed, right, fails in predicting the behavior of gas and hence, you know, the ideal gas equation is not valid for the, for the entire region. So, clubbing all those things, he came up with a mathematical description of PBT behavior which was you know uh, the named as cubic equation of state because when you simplify this this will be v to the power 3 plus some coefficient v to the power square plus v to the power 2 plus v to the power 1 and some constant. So this was the first equation which was proposed right. Constants a and b are you know fluid specific constants, right. Constant A will take care of attractive between the molecules of the fluid and B will take care of the co-volume or it will be like this is something which is considered as a co-volume. So, if we consider that the molecules are, you know, spherical in nature and they are, you know, uh, they, are, they are put up in the density or in the, uh, you know, particular arrangement where there is no overlapping. So, because of that overlapping, right, there is some amount of volume which is reduced. Like ideal gas says that all the molecules are separated and they are, they are, they are not overlapping. That is, there is some kind of overlap. So, it is called as a co-volume parameter or the, uh, you know, volume which is overlapped due to the, uh, you know, dense arrangement of the molecule due to the pressure which is applied to the gas. So, this becomes V minus B. So, this becomes your uh, mathematical description of a cubic equation of state which was proposed by Van der Waals. Okay. Moving further, so I already mentioned here, now when, when we consider an ideal gas model, both A, because there is no attraction and there is no overlapping. So, for an ideal gas, A and B both would be 0 and the equation will reduce to your ideal gas equation of state, right. Once I know the value of A and B, I can calculate pressure given B and T. Once I know the value of A and B, given pressure and temperature, I can calculate volume. So, naturally out of P, T, V, if I know 2, the remaining can be calculated with the help of A, B and this equation, right. So, this is the basis for Van der Waals equation of state. However, Van der Waals equation had its own limitations, fine. So, to improve upon those limitations, so many equation of state, so many cubic equation of states were proposed. Some of them modified the, you know, expression of equation of state. Some of them uh, modified the expressions for A and B. And there are so many modifications, modifications which took place. However, the basic theory of P equals to PR plus P remained unchanged, right. And the development is always also based on that only. So, I think we will stop here and when we meet next time, what we will do is we will discuss about how a PV diagram experimentally is being, you know, uh, represented and if I represent the same diagram 
by using a cubic equation of state, how would a cubic equation of state predict the PV diagram? Thank you.